وَلَكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مُسْتَقَرٌ And in the earth there will be a temporary place of rest for you. There's, there's مُقَام and مُسْتَقَر مُسْتَقَر is a place you take tranquility in and you find stop in and you find coolness in for a limited period of time. So Allah says the, the station of the earth is gonna be temporary. وَمَتَاعٌ إِلَى حِينَ And utilities until a given time. The very powerful word Allah used for dunya here, mata'a. Mata'a. Mata'a in Arabic means a, a, a tool, like a shovel, or like a brush, or a scrape, or a sponge in a kitchen. Things you use. But mata'a by definition is something you use, but you don't enjoy. It's not something meant to be enjoyed, it's something meant to be used. I don't think anybody enjoys a shovel, unless they're really into digging or something. They don't, it's not a normal thing to enjoy. They don't, nobody enjoys you know, things like a, a screwdriver or things like that, tools. You know, Al-Asma'i rahimahullah wanted to do research on this one word, mata'a, because it's used so many times in Qur'an. And the way he used to do research, he used to go to the Arab Bedouin deserts to try to find people that are using that word without asking them. So he wanted to see the word being used in its natural context. So he travels village to village and he can't find anybody using the word mata'a, but he doesn't want to ask. Because if he asks, according to him, he'll get an artificial definition. But if he just hears it being used naturally, he'll get the genuine definition, right? So he's waiting for, <laughs> for him to hear this word. I mean, imagine the kind of pain that takes to find a word being used, just run into it. So he's exhausted, he sits at the bank of this pond, and this little girl is scrubbing you know, her, her dishes. She's scrubbing her, and her pet goat comes, and it grabs the brush and runs away with the brush. So the girl starts crying and says, "Akhada <laughs> matai," that he took my the, the goat took my brush away, and he, she called the brush the tool, you know, a mata, and he, he put that in his notes on his on his commentary on the word mata. It's something you use, but it's not something to enjoy. And Allah says, "In this earth, you're going to be here for a little while. While you'll have a lot of things to use, but don't get caught up in them. They're supposed to be things that are in your hand, not in your heart. You know, and this is something very important for a lot of people." They, can, they have no dunya in their hand, but the entire dunya is inside their heart. So even if they have no materials, they're still materialistic. And on the other hand, you can have a person who has all the wealth in the world, but the wealth is in their hand. And it hasn't entered into their heart. If they have it one day and they don't have it the next day, their heart doesn't change. They understand it, was, it belonged to Allah like I myself belong to Allah. So Allah says about this dunya when He sends us here, He says, وَلَكُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ مُسْتَقَرٌ وَمَتَاعٌ إِلَى حِينَ Until a given time, there will be things for you to utilize.